Donald Trump has been indicted again, accused of mishandling classified documents, obstruction and other crimes. The current front runner for the 2024 GOP presidential nomination is already facing 34 state level felony charges in a separate case and other investigations are still going on. Natalie Brand has the latest. Donald Trump has been called to appear in a Miami court Tuesday, becoming the first former U.S. president to face federal charges in connection to his alleged mishandling of classified documents. I'm an innocent man. I did nothing wrong. Trump was the first to reveal the indictment on social media Thursday night, blaming Democrats for what he's calling the box hoax. They figure the way they're going to stop us is by using what's called warfare. And that's what it is. This is warfare for the law. Trump's attorney says the seven counts include unlawful retention of national defense information, obstruction, conspiracy, and false statements. A special counsel appointed by the Justice Department has been investigating Trump's alleged mishandling of documents marked classified, as well as the events surrounding the January 6th Capitol attack. The new criminal charges stem from a 15-month effort by the federal government to retrieve records Trump had at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. After issuing a subpoena to turn over government records last year, the FBI searched the property. In total, more than 300 records, including some marked top secret, have been recovered. The former president claims he declassified the sensitive materials when he left the White House. I took the documents I'm allowed to. The worst evidence against Donald Trump is once again from Donald Trump. Yeah. He says he retained these documents. Yeah. And by the way, they don't have to be classified. So the fact that he wants to say he declassified them is irrelevant. A key piece of evidence is expected to be an audio recording. CBS News confirmed investigators obtained a recording in which the former president acknowledges he held on to a sensitive Pentagon memo about Iran after leaving the White House. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.